Good morning, guys. So we woke up to snow. <laughs> Last night we drove the Icefields Parkway. Well, the, the Banff half at least. The Banff half, yeah, the lower half up to the Columbia ice field. So that's where we actually spent the night last night. It was 16 bucks to stay in their parking lot. And we're going on a tour today where they take you out on this crazy vehicle and you get to go out onto the ice fields. Yeah. And there's like a I mean, it's, it's walkway? Uh, yes, it's like a clear walkway. Yeah. That you walk out on. Um, so here's the ice field. Hold on, hold on, where is it? Right here? Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we get to go out on that. Yeah, and as you can see, we camped right there. I would say, great, great camping spot. I mean, it's absolutely stunning out here, but yeah. it's really on level. So, yeah. in some, spot, some, some spots, it was like 16 degrees off, and so that's like yeah. 15, like, lynx levelers kind of thing, but <laughs> you just try to figure out a, a good spot, a level spot. We moved around a bunch and found one that was close enough, and then... Yeah, there's some, some levelers, levelers down, and we're good to go. Oh, there's a bunch of RVs coming in right now. So, as you can see, like, that's a big fifth wheel. So, you know, people are doing it up here with big rigs. So if you have a big rig, don't be uh, don't be scared to come, yeah, and do this. <laughs> look at that thing. It's a toy hauler, so. Going back to Alaska, it looks like. All right, yep. well, we're uh, gonna go uh, get on our <laughs> tour. It is so windy up here, but we made it to the glacier. <laughs> oh my goodness. just finished the skywalk out there and I have to admit like I didn't love it <laughs> but yeah. I just had to keep looking up like obviously it's a beautiful view and it's like a really cool thing but like if you're scared of heights do not recommend I adjusted pretty quickly so it didn't bother me yeah as much I don't know I guess I'm a little disappointed I expected more I thought it was gonna be like over a glacier or like somewhere that you can't go right yeah it's actually just off the side of the main highway so yeah and you can't park here you have to stop at their place and take a bus here and like it's interesting it's just not uh i had different expectations i thought we were going to be like walking out over a glacier or looking down at a glacier or something like that but it's just over the river valley and you would get a similar, a, a less scary view if you just, <laughs> like, if this was, like, a turnout. Right. It's kind of, that's what I was saying. It kind yeah. of feels like they turned a turnout into a expensive tourist, uh, destination. tourist destination. We've never done a but, skywalk before. No, we haven't. So, it, I'm glad yeah. I did it. I've always wanted to do a skywalk, but now that I know, my brain doesn't really <laughs> like, like it. I had to really, like, tell myself, like, take a step. You're fine. Take a step. Going out on the glacier absolutely worth it yeah. very cool experience loved it like 10 out of 10 yeah. so if you're gonna do this experience you don't have to buy both i'd say just go to the glacier unless like skywalks are your jam you yeah. know i mean it's still a beautiful <laughs> beautiful overlook but i mean how many beautiful overlooks are there on this road right. in general so yeah exactly that's our two cents <laughs> for what it's worth <laughs>
want to ensure you never miss out on our content, don't rely on social media notifications to let you know when we release new stuff. There's only one way to get all of our updates directly, and that's by signing up to our newsletter. Unlike social media algorithms that decide for you what you should see, our newsletter guarantees you'll get every bit of content we share, from daily articles to new video releases to exclusive discounts. If daily's too much for you, just sign up for our weekly recap. Don't let the algorithm decide what you see. Sign up now and join our getaway gang. All right, guys, we are on the road again. This was a really cool experience. Um, as we said before, the cat, or not the catwalk, what's it called? Skywalk. Yeah. <laughs> catwalk down the skywalk um, that wasn't uh too terribly worth it but i can't even explain how cool it was to like go on to the ithabasca that's the glacier that we actually went on and we learned while we were here what an ice field is and so i don't remember the exact mileage but you know it needs to be a certain amount of mileages wide and do you it remember? It feeds at least two glaciers. Oh, that's right. And it needs to feed at least two glaciers. So the one we're at, Glacier. Columbia Icefield, just from this parking lot, you can see six of the glaciers that it feeds. So to say this is a huge ice field is an understatement. You just learn so much more about it and like how these mountain ranges were formed and you know, like we're leaving. And so this is the glacier that we went up on. And when you come down like the little mountain right there, like that's, they said in the late 1800s, that's actually where the glacier was. So it went like right across that way. So it's definitely decreased in size. They're all decreasing in size, but you just, you learn so much about it and Oh no, it's just a cool tour, so highly recommend. All the snow from this morning is melted, so it was just a really cool experience with like waking up in the parking lot with everything like coated in the snow. And we took the first tour of the day, which was 10 a.m., and I highly recommend doing that because obviously like we noticed the later it gets, the more crowded the tours are. So I wouldn't even say our bus was at 40% capacity. So it was nice to actually have like less people with you. So if you can do the earlier tour, do it. But if you're not staying in here, I totally get that it's like quite a drive to get in here. But we are now headed to Jasper and we didn't make any camping reservations. So we just hopped on right now to see if there was any. There wasn't two nights in a row available. Like these campgrounds are pretty much booked from now until September, but we found one campground that had one open site for tonight and a different campground had a different site for tomorrow. They're right next to each other, but because it's easy for us to pick up and go, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And if you're like us and don't and didn't make reservations during the super, super busy time here, there is an overflow campground that is first come, first serve, and it's huge, but it's essentially like a parking lot. Um, you don't get any hookups or anything like that. It's not fancy. Yeah. So. I mean, we could have done that, but yeah. we didn't want to. finished our drive on the Icefields Parkway and landed in Jasper. We'll show you next week what we got up to there. Don't forget to subscribe.